Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at something people dread a bit about getting on their driving test and that is reversing around a corner. Now this might not sound much to people who already drive but reversing around a corner is a little bit tricky for a couple of reasons. One, people are worried that they can't use their wing mirror to look at the curb and they have to look through the back and it's quite a sort of intensive process when you're on your test. It gets a little bit easier, of course, with more practice and when you're actually driving. But today I'm going to give you a few tips to hopefully make it a bit easier for you and make you dread it a bit less if you do get it on the test. So, on the test, the examiner is going to pull you up before the corner you're going to turn into and ask you to pull up on the left after the corner. After that, you'll just be asked to reverse around the corner when you're ready and you'll go from there. Ideally, you want to be around a foot from the curb. Some people say like a drain's width away from the curb, something like that just as long as you aren't in danger of touching the curb and you aren't in danger of swinging out too far into the road and getting in people's way. Before you get to the corner, note how tight it is. Obviously, the tighter the corner, the more steering you're going to have to give it, but keep in mind that you don't want to do anything too drastic with the steering. You want to be just little increments. For example, if you find yourself getting too far away from the curb, you're going to have to steer closer to it, you're going to have to tighten the steering up. If you find yourself getting too close to the curb, you're going to have to loosen the steering up a little bit and turn away. But do this in small increments, don't do big jerky movements as you're going to find yourself fishtailing all over the place and it's going to get complicated. On the test before you move off, you're going to do these standard checks over your left shoulder, each mirror, wing mirror, reversing mirror, right hand wing mirror and then over your right hand shoulder as you'll get used to and as many in driving instructors will tell you. That's fine. Keep in mind that you're going to have to do this a couple of times during the actual maneuver as well and if you have to stop and reassess then feel free to do. You have a lot of time in this maneuver. The examiner is going to expect you to do this safely so you don't want to rush it. You don't have to rush it. You can take as long as you want as long as it's not half an hour. You know what I mean? Remember you can turn the left wing mirror down to help you and I would recommend doing this. Just remember not to keep looking constantly into it as you need to do your checks make sure that if anyone does get close to you, you stop and wait for them. If, when you're on the driving test, and you have made it halfway around the maneuver and someone sits right behind you, you're going to have to restart. Um, if they're not budging, if they're not going around you, then you're going to have to restart it, go back to the starting position and <laughs> try it again, unfortunately. It's just the way it is. So, like I said, you can turn the left wing mirror down and it's probably a good idea to do so as again, you can see the curb a lot better and it just helps you out. Some cars you might not actually need to do this much at all uh, and others you might need to uh, put it right down to the bottom. If your car lets you do it without putting it down, then that's good. Before you do any maneuvers on any tests or anything like that, you've got to check over your left shoulder, left driver mirror, rear view mirror, right driver mirror and over your right shoulder too. Before you move off where the curb is in your rear window, this is going to make a difference as when you get around the corner and you straighten up again, you can set that exact same point and you know when you're straight. So you don't have to guess, it's just there. So before you start, you'll need to make your checks from your left shoulder to your right involving all the mirrors and find the amount of throttle you need, if you need it, and the biting point. Release the handbrake and make your way steadily backwards, checking front and back for approaching cars or pedestrians. Remember that if anyone approaches you, you must wait to let them pass or restart if they are waiting for you. Keep an eye on the left mirror and as soon as the gap in the curb starts to widen, it's your time to turn. Before you turn, however, stop and check around you again. When you turn, the front of your car will move further out into the road, so you've got to make sure no one's approaching. Find your biting point again and move on, checking the curb and around you, trying not to stare constantly in any one of the mirrors. Constantly check around. Be gentle with your steering inputs and keep your speed very low. You will not need to let the clutch up fully. Keep it slow and at the biting point. As you begin to end the turn, note through the back window if the curb is returning to the same spot as to where it started, or you will just know when to straighten up with practice. And quickly get the steering straight. Keep going back whilst checking front and back, roughly three car lengths and half a foot to a foot from the curb. The examiner will let you know when you are far enough back and in the right place. So with that example, it shows that you can sort of take your time. You don't have to be speedy by any means. You keep the clutch at the biting point, add a little bit of throttle if your car needs it. And if you need to stop mid turn and readjust, you need to take another check, then feel free to do it. Uh, the safer you are, the better you will be in the examiner's eyes. Remember, if you need to restart, 
then you can. You can restart the maneuver completely, but remember to explain to the examiner you're going to be doing this. Do your checks as you would. If you've made it a far way back into the turn, then you're going to have to indicate out of the turn, check as usual, uh, and then restart exactly where you were. And just try it again. It's fine as long as you explain. All right, thank you so much for watching. Good luck to any of you taking the driving test soon, and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you would like to see in the future in the comment section too. Drive safe, and I'll see you in the next one.